What's going on guys, it's Justin Springer with Most Won't We Will, and in this video we're going to talk about how Tom Ballou and Gary Vaynerchuk is ahead of the game, and you're not. <laughs> guys, let me tell you something. You know, I've made tons of videos to try to help people and give them tons and tons and tons of value, and I highly believe that, and it's exactly what those two individuals do in their game. But let me show you something really quick. Do you see this picture? Okay, so one guy, Tom, he was holding up a sign, and another guy had something on his t-shirt. Let, let, let's go ahead and decide, let, let's think about what that was. Oh, my fault, a phone number, right? A phone number, why, 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 why? I've also made videos where Gary Vaynerchuk talks about how he believes that SMS marketing is going to rise again, and here's the reason why, guys, because SMS marketing is not really fully developed, okay? It's just really getting started. And I know that's kind of hard because everybody thinks there's no way SMS marketing is just getting started, but you gotta understand, number one, uh, the only way that people were really communicating on SMS anyways, I'm talking about marketers anyways, we're doing SMS blasts. Well, the blasts get a little bit old, okay? And then you gotta understand, Everybody in the world is pushing, 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 right, to go online. And then you got, you know, click, uh, click funnels and all these people that are talking about funnels, right? So first you had everybody saying, get a website. Then you had everybody saying, no, get a funnel, right? And that's what these people are doing to communicate to their audience. And then they started doing, okay, I got to promote content. I got to get on YouTube. I got to run ads. I got to do all these things, right? But then slowly after time, so many people were going online that they started forgetting about the other stuff, the offline stuff, right? And I agree with Gary Vaynerchuk that I think that SMS marketing is making a, a different circle and they're coming back around. And here's my thing, guys. The reason why I'm saying that you're holding back is because you always, and, and not me, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to be in this category. I used to be, but not no more. But I used to be in that category where, hey, when more people started doing it and I started seeing results, then I was going to jump on board. But I, I, it always amazed me how Gary Vaynerchuk was talking about um, something before it became popular and then it became popular. And he knew when to pull out too, right? Like, Meaning everybody was talking about Snapchat, right? When Snapchat was starting to get big, everybody was like, oh my God, I'm going to market on Snapchat. Now, I'm not saying you can't market on Snapchat still, but if you notice, some of the big names are not really talking about Snapchat anymore. And you want to know why? Because when Instagram came back with Instagram stories, it really just kind of like, it really crushed Snapchat. It really did. I'm not saying Snapchat is not a big platform, but it really crushed it. And now, right now you got Gary Vaynerchuk talking about TikTok and all that stuff. And that's great, you know, and, and that is honestly a way to go, right? And eventually, because right now there's people that can get like 40,000 followers in a week on TikTok and then give it a month. There's people that have like 300,000 followers right on TikTok. And you got to think about it. You can't really monetize, but in a sense you can because you can either sell merch, you can put merchandise or you can direct them back to your Instagram account. It is a little tricky because people come to TikTok to laugh and to have fun, but you can do it. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, it's something to think about. But that's the problem, right? We see some of these guys going that route and we wanna see more and more results rather than saying, hey, you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot. And that's what you gotta do. Now, Gary Vaynerchuk, one, talk, uh, one time, he talked about marketing where he said, you know, he's gonna put 80% of dollars times everything you know what i mean and what he knows is working currently what is bringing me money today but he's going to also spend that 20 percent to grow to learn to test markets and right now sms marketing is the next big thing and if you've been noticing i've been putting these videos about a phone number because here's the deal what we do is we give you a number Okay, we give you a number that not only is going to take, that, that allows you to promote it, right? You know, on multiple platforms, but when people call it, okay, it will, it will get their email and their information from them. It will abstract this information for you and have a, a, a basic conversation and direct them to wherever you wanna go. Guys, this is crazy because SMS marketing, text messages are still, 99% of them are open. Okay, so that's not like a lost email in the spam file. 
99% of them are open. 94% of them are opening within the first three minutes of being received. Now, you might say, okay, but I know when I did an SMS blast, Justin, it didn't really pay off like I wanted to. No, not an SMS blast. I mean, think about it. You're going along, you know, about your day, and then all of a sudden, you know, you just get a text message out of nowhere. You know what I mean? How are you gonna react? You're probably just gonna delete it. But it does not mean that you can't build something. So when people sit there and they follow your content, or they get a business card, or like, think about it like a real estate agent, right? What are they putting everywhere? Signs, right? Signs, signs of phone numbers, business cards of phone numbers. Now, obviously these real estate agents want the people to call them so they can go sell the person a home, but think about it, right? What if you get a phone call from a person that, eh, you know what I mean, doesn't really have good credit or, or just there's a lot, of, a lot of things that they're not qualified for and then you have to go show them around and you're wasting your time rather than being with somebody else that you know is going to make you money. Or think about, um, think about the mom and pop shop, right, who has a donut shop and right next to his register, he could say, hey, uh, call this number and get on our list for you know, offers or blah, 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 right? So instead of just worrying about it getting lost in their email, spam folders or anything like that, or some of you get a thousand emails a day, you know, maybe not a thousand, but you still get a lot of emails a day that then you got to fumble through them. But instead, now you're getting on text marketing. And this is something totally different because you know your person is going to get it. What I'm saying is that the sky is endless on this. Many, many people can use it. And the reason why you usually hold back is because you want to see more and more proof. I am not telling you to stop on what's working at the moment. The problem is, is a lot of people approach it like, oh, as soon as I invest, I want to see my money. And you can't do that, okay? This is just getting started. Now, will you see some money? Yes. Will you see more, uh, will you see your list build? Will you see more ways to generate uh, or connect with your prospects or with your leads or anything like that? Yes, you will get that instantly, but it might not be the next big multi-million dollar idea just yet, but it will be. So put 80%, okay, of what's working right now. What is bringing you an income right now? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't, give, it doesn't get matter two shits about what Justin says or what anybody else says, okay? And what I mean by that is you have to feed your kids, you have to feed your family, you have to pay your bills, you do that, okay? So you gotta worry about what's working right now. But just like any uh, anybody else in a business, right? You got to keep that 20% going of growing, right? Uh, expanding, you know what I mean? Staying with the market. And I'll never forget, you know, and we talk about this all the time, right? We talk about how Toys R Us went out of business, right? Now, that's, you know, everybody uses that like, oh, Toys R Us went out of business. Jump into my business so you'll have some safeguard. There is no safeguard. This is what I mean by the Toys R Us problem, right? They said our customers want to come in our stores and play with the toys before they buy or they have fun coming in and buying. Not the case. What they forgot to realize is yes, the kids want to go into the store to buy. The parents do not. They don't want to go stand in those long lines. They don't want to go in there for one toy while their kid tries to buy every other 20,000 toy. So what did they do? They started ordering on Amazon and just having it showing up at the house. Do you think the kid cared? No, as soon as his toy was in his face or her, the toy was in the face, they didn't care where it came from. They didn't say, oh my God, I'm only gonna open this toy if it came from Toys R Us. So you know what I'm saying? That was what the CEO of Toys R Us said and he didn't stay with the times and next thing you know, the whole company crashed. Now I'm not trying to point a finger at him, but what I'm saying is, he rested on his laurels and didn't expand and did not continue to grow and did not continue to try new things to connect. Because at the end of the day, guys, you wanna know the key to the online business, honestly, it's attention. Whether it's good attention, whether it's bad attention, you just need attention. The more people talking about you, whether it's bad or good, you would actually be surprised. I know people that have been talked on bad about, yet they're still winning. Why? Because they have attention. And when they have the, I mean, and that's what this whole world is all about, right? We're constantly fighting for followers, um, viewers, likes, 
You know what I mean? Shares, tags, whatever, because we want attention, all right? And that's why I'm saying the person that continues to evolve and stay ahead of the game and allows himself to expand and, you know, reach out and find another way to continue to connect and stay ahead of the game with his prospects, leads, customers, followers, whatever the case may be, they're going to win. And that's why those two individuals continue, continue to keep on winning. Now, are you just going to sit around and watch them? Or are you going to start taking action and start realizing that maybe I need to do something different too and I need a way to connect with my customers? I'm not saying I'm the end-all, be-all or this product is, but I highly ask you to just call the number, take the demo or click the link below. Take the demo and see for yourself if it can help you win. Let's go.